tie from Kettle Bottom. There's a whole lot of bait around and a whole lot of something chasing them, and I suspect it's a little baby bluefish. So I'm gonna tie a uh, quick woolly bugger, a lot of bright colors, and try to just get some reactionary strikes. I'm gonna use a small long shanked hook. Take my thread, basically just coat the hook. Really get a good layer of, of uh, thread on that back half of the hook just to give everything a little bit of grip to, to grip onto the shank. So I'm gonna take this little bit of marabou here and then put a little bit of a tail on this guy. Take a short piece of uh, glow bug yarn. Should should work well as body. Just take the end and tie it in. Toward the, the back of this hackle, I'm gonna just take a uh, one fairly large hackle out and you just tie the very tip of the feather in. Right, right back there. And then, and then bring your thread right up to the front. You take your uh, Whatever you're using for body material, in this case, uh, glow bug yarn, it's typically chenille. Wrap this all the way up to the front there. Lock it in with your thread. Cut the uh, excess here. And once you got that locked in, take the this little hackle that you had tied in earlier. Basically, just follow your wraps right up to the front. What this does makes a nice, really bristly looking body. When you tie it in, make sure you hold all those bristles back so you don't want to tie them down. a little bit of a head on there and then you can either do half hitches like so or if you want to get fancy and you use this whip knot finisher so you essentially take the little hook in the front hook it in, into the line wrap the line around that little hook in the back and then make a, a figure four out of it and then you hold back all those bristles and you, tie, you go around one, two, three, four, five, release the back, and then keep tension while you pull the front tight. What that does is creates a lot of wraps with the uh, line going underneath it. So when you pull it, it actually uh, binds everything underneath those wraps. So that's the finished product. This is a, uh, essentially a basic woolly bugger, but I use real bright, flashy colors to try to get a lot of attention and hopefully a lot of bites. So I've got this uh, little woolly bugger I made. Let's see if it works on these little fishies. That's a fish. So it does work. As suspected, these are little, little, little baby blue fish. There it is. That's a fish. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he got, he got the fly. I knew that would happen. Jerk. You want to grab another fly? Come on, baby. Yeah, there you go. There you go, another little blue fish. These make awesome baits for uh, much bigger fish. Stripers will eat them, blue fish will eat them, blue will eat them. So they're uh, very valuable for that. I don't personally have any use for them today, so I'm just gonna release them. It's fun. Another little little guy. So that's fun. You know, the, uh, the woolly buggers are definitely doing their job tracking the fish, getting the bites, which leads me to get the fish. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about making a woolly bugger and how darn easy it is, and they definitely are very, very effective flies. So, until next time everyone, get outside. <laughs>